And that's going to be a lot of reaction. Now, Lewis, no disrespect on Jernis Johnson, but you got one running back there. You got Nick Chubb possibly not there. Can the Browns beat the Patriots without Nick Chubb? Yeah, they can. Look, the Ernest Johnson, as we saw a couple weeks ago when Case Keenum was in the lineup, is a guy who can run the football. Why is that? And run the football productively. I mean, just saying he can run the football is obvious. Anybody can see that. But it's the way this team is constructed. They're constructed the right way. They're built inside out. They're built front to back. Look, they just signed Wyatt Teller to a contract extension. Joel Batonio was already extended. J.C. Treader under contract. Um, you know, you got Jedrick Wills, who was the 10th overall selection. Jack Conklin, who was a huge free agency acquisition. They're built to withstand turmoil around them. And this, and if you're going to be able, if you're as a football team, if you're going to have all this uncertainty at the skill positions, you want to be strong up front, and they'll be able to do that. Now, Baker Mayfield is going to have to play one of the best games of the season because the, the New England Patriots defense right now, I mean, they're fourth in scoring defense. They're number one in the NFL at picking the ball off. And you know Bill is better than dissecting an offense than even the offenses at – dissecting themselves. He understands what your strengths and weaknesses are. He truly, truly actually implements game plans that make you play left-handed and go away from what you want to do. So they're not going to let them control the line of scrimmage, even with a backup running back, although they've been able to do that against anyone. And he's going to put, make them put the ball in Baker Mayfield's hands and see if he then can avoid the costly turnovers that they have made every other quarterback make in the course of football games. That's what it will come down to. Bill's one of the the best at doing it. I think Cleveland, though, is up to the challenge. We'll see. Okay, once again, coming down to Baker. So, Bart, I got to ask you, yeah. can they do this without Chubb? Um, I don't know, right? I, hmm. I think this is evenly matched, two evenly matched teams, and you talk about, you know, all the accolades of Bill and his game plan and his defensive prowess. And, listen, last week you talked about Baker Mayfield, and, you know, they won and put up 41 points, but he only completed 14 passes. He's going to have to complete more passes, and this is an audition for Baker Mayfield because these are the type of times where you prove that you're a franchise quarterback when you take things away. I always talk about Baker Mayfield having two of everything. Well, now he doesn't, and can he make up the difference? Can he be a plus multiplier? Can he will this team to a much-needed victory? Because, listen, if they lose this game, they drop to 5-5, five and five, the loser of this team is going to have like, not, not, not their playoff hopes dwindle, but it's going to be you know, sacrifice. Because if you lose seven in AFC, I think that you know, you're going to have an opportunity. This may be the, one of these eliminators for the seven, for six spot in the wild card. That's an interesting point because the Patriots are kind of in the same circumstance, Woody. And, and so if the Patriots are in this, and they've got to win this. This is sort of a must win for them. Do you see them as a playoff team, especially with Mac Jones at the helm? Right now, yeah, absolutely. Hmm. They're playing because they're playing what I call complementary football right now. They are playing exceptionally well on defense. They turn the ball over on defense. They don't do that on offense. They run the football, and the quarterback takes care of the football. You want to win in this league? Guess what you do? You take care of the football, and you turn the other team, turn the other team over. That's what the Patriots are doing well. So when I look at this matchup against the Cleveland Browns, Lewis, you know, touched upon it. The one thing that Coach Belichick does, he makes you play left-handed. He takes away the things that you really like doing well. It's going to be strength on strength. Patriots, rush defense, Browns rush offense. If the Browns can't rush the ball, they will not win this game. I can tell you that right now. Hmm. Because if you're going to rely on Baker Mayfield going up against that Bill Belichick defense with his arm trying to win that game, it's not going to happen. Wow. So if you make it about Baker, that's a tough one to win. In this Browns. matchup, no. We're going to see what it, which one of these guys are for real, man. Because, listen, you talk about the Patriots. They, they beat the Jets twice and Houston twice. This is put up a shut up time. It's a cream starts rise to the top when we hit November. You know what November means. I know. For yeah. the cash, baby. That's nope. right. Well, that's when they that's when the Patriots play their best ball in, in November. November moving on. Uh, Adam, what, what I'll go to you for the final word. Yeah. Well, I know we're talking a lot about the Cleveland Browns and then missing both their running backs, Nick Chubb and Demetri Felton and Kareem Hunt. But guess what? The New England Patriots top two running backs are Damian Harris and Ramondre Stevenson. Neither player practiced yesterday due to a concussion. Mm. They still have to be cleared to play Sunday. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.